Hey there YouTube, Thassi here bringing you another VGC battle. My team's gonna be on the bottom, it's the same team I brought to the VGC San Bruno about a month ago. It's gonna be Garchomp, Rotom, Heat, Thalamence, Manetric, Thizor, and Gyarados fighting off against a Rookie Slayer, MLG, who's using Venusaur, Charizard, Mindshow, Aegislash, Gardevoir, and Rotom Wash. Uh, I really wanted to upload this battle because something really cool happens, and uh, I played really, really well this battle, so without further ado, let's just start it up. You're going to see me lead with uh, Rotom Heat. I think it's the best Rotom right now, but that's just my personal opinion. Definitely becoming a lot more popular as of late. And Garchomp. We're then going to see Rookie Slayer lead off with Greninja and Charizard. So, since he's leading with Greninja and Charizard, I can definitely tell what he's going to do. He's obviously going to go to the Mega Charizard X here. I expected the X because he's pairing it with a Greninja. You don't ever really want to go uh, Charizard Y when you pair it with Greninja, so I definitely expected the X. My Rotom Choice Scarf is then going to go for a Volt Switch off, clock the Greninja Sash, go into my Salamence to get a nice Intimidate off from that Charizard X. There's the map block that we all saw coming a mile away, and I, like I said, I saw it coming, so I am going to pop a Swords Dance with my Garchomp, and the Charizard X, since I definitely knew it was Charizard X, is going to go for that Dragon Dance. So right here, I'm going to go for a double protect just to make sure I have everything, you know, there's not, I don't want to get baited by any protects or anything, I just want to scout everything and see if I can definitely get the double KO next turn. He goes for the standard play, he goes for the ice beams, he goes for the dragon claws on the targets like I wanted him to. And this is the turn where the coolest part happens. He's going to dragon claw my Salem, it's going to proc my Habomberry so I'm still going to live. And he's going to ice beam my Garchomp, that's going to clock my Sash, which still lets me to live. Now... He's already used both his attacks, my Dragon Claw can come out from my Garchomp, Critical Hit, Swords Dance, gonna one-shot that Charizard X, and my Salamence can now finish off the Greninja with the Dragon Pulse. So, I played that extremely well, I feel like I killed both of his Pokemon at the cost of just my items. And I still have a Swords Dance Garchomp on the board. This is what makes this battle worth uploading. He's gonna send out Age Slash and Rotom, like last term was really good, but this is a really nice play. My Garchomp's gonna protect to expect the Shadow Sneak from the Age of Slash, which he does transform into the, the blade form, goes for that shadow sneak, it's going to fail, and my Salamence gets a flamethrower off, another crit, like, I didn't need any of them, but I got it, and, you know, I completely baited him into doing that, and his Rotom then is going to go for a Thunderbolt, my Salamence, but this is a super big, bulky wall Salamence, so it's not even going to get the kill, and that's just where it forfeited, so pretty, pretty decent four stock right there, won the battle, and uh, yeah, I just felt I played really, really well that game, so I thought I might as well upload it. Didn't even get to see my secondaries. Well, I guess you saw one of them. I guess you saw uh, Salomon. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.